approach Dante about maybe trying to give that up? You know, I, I approached him immediately to let him know I was going to change my number, you know, so he didn't have to stress, stress on anything. But I know that he was probably thinking that, you know, as soon as I got traded there. So he was cool, you know, either way. But uh, I, I think I wanted to change it anyway. He's already he talks about you. retiring <laughs> 11 <laughs> in Memphis. What does that mean to you? Oh, man, um, I'm just humbled, honestly. I didn't expect that at all. Um, it's a great gesture from the organization there. And, you know, Memphis has, has been great to me and my family. Uh, and to have you know, my jersey one day, you know, up there in the Raptors is, you know, it's, it's a legacy at the end of the day. And, um, it, you know, it means a lot to me and my family. You've never played with that guy. What's that going to be like for you guys? Well, I think uh, we'll both be a lot better. <laughs> I really do. I think that, and not just because of Donovan or I, I think it's the whole team, the way things are, you know, the players that are in place, you know, Bogey, Joe, the uh, recruiting, the, the different skill sets that everybody can bring to the team at the same time. You know, I'll have space like I probably haven't, haven't seen before. Donovan will have space. The guys won't be able to double team uh, as much. You know, otherwise, you're leaving guys open. Uh, and we're confident in everybody's ability to, to be playmakers. Donovan will be really good. Is there going to be an adjustment for you going from a pick and pop big and to a pick and dive big? Uh, I think it'll be a little bit of an adjustment. Uh, you know, Mark was so skilled in so many different ways. Uh, he always wanted to throw alley oops, but uh, I didn't think he'd get up there, so I didn't, <laughs> didn't trust it as much. But uh, Rudy is going to be a whole other animal, I think, as far as throwing that ball up in the air and letting him go get it. And, uh, I'm excited for the opportunity. It's something I haven't really had to, to play with uh, throughout my career a few times, but uh, it'll be fun. Would it be nice to play with Rudy instead of against him? Oh, it's, it's the best. I, I tell him, I've seen him, you know, a couple times here in Vegas and a few times before uh, in L.A. And the first thing I say, like, I'm just so happy I don't have to play against you. Because <laughs> the nights were very hard. And just couldn't find any room in the paint. And that's where I like to work a lot. So. Mike, I know you've played against you over your career. How much have you been able to, like, watch them, you know, since the, the deal was made? And you know, what have you gleaned from the way they play? Uh, I feel like I fit in really seamlessly because it's it reminds me of a little bit of my team in Memphis when we were you know playing the defense that we played, um, but with just a little bit more offense. Uh, and, and with guys like Donovan, uh, unique talent. And I don't think that you know, a lot of guys have the opportunity to play with a guy like that uh, is going to make a lot of things a lot easier for me and a lot of things easier for everybody else. And, um, just it. The way I play my DNA, the, the defense and offense is, is just as important to me. Um, so I'm, I'm going to fit in pretty good. Because of the trade, you've had the opportunity to see this team built kind of around this core now. What have you thought about adding Bogey, adding the, you know, the other pieces as well? Yeah, uh, it's just been a phenomenal offseason. Um, and I think that the way that it all played out with me getting traded when I did um, right before the draft, I think it really helped. Dennis was saying, just kind of expedite and accelerate a little bit um, and give you know, Bogey something to look at, give the other guys something to look at when they're, they're looking for places to, to call home and uh, to compete in. So um, just uh, excited to be a part of the plan. And, uh, it's going to be something special. It, it's the first time ever a finals MVP has left the team they won the championship with that, that immediate summer. It's a wide open league. Uh, this move, the timing of it this year, have you thought about the opportunity at hand? Yeah, yeah. The, you know, like I said earlier, I think it's we all see that it's an opportunity for all of us that um, have that aspiration. You know, we all want to win a championship. And we all, you know, especially myself, it's something I've been, you know, looking for my whole career and, and have gotten close and never been able to, to push through. And, and now it seems like it's the time this year, especially. Um, there's not too many teams with three, you know, big time, top five, top ten guys on the team is, is kind of split up. So uh, it's a great opportunity for, for the Jazz uh, to, to just, you know, be ourselves and continue to improve as the season goes on. And, and we'll, be, we'll be there at the end of the year, you know, knocking at the door. The fact that Toronto came together so quick and was able to win the ultimate prize, is that 
a model or just evidence uh, to, to a team like you guys who have aspirations to do it that it, it is possible to, to yeah, play together think, that quick? Definitely. I think what Toronto accomplished this season, uh, this is confirmation that, hey, you know, if you put together a good roster, a deep team, Guys improve as the year goes on. You can you know, be sitting there, right, right, you know, right in arm's reach of, of a championship, and um, and things can go your way or, or not go your way. And um, and at the end of the year, you know, a lot of this league is you, know, you got to have a little luck, you got to have a health. All those things are part of it. But those guys work work their tail off and uh, inspired a lot of teams, you know, to to, to go out and, and, and you know make moves to, to give ourselves a chance. 12 years of one team, that's so rare in today's NBA. And that being said, what was it like for you emotionally uh, to be traded for the first time? And what was your thoughts when you heard you were coming to Utah? Yeah, um, it was it was emotional at first. I, yeah, when it first happened, I just I couldn't believe it. I didn't believe it was real. I was like, I don't even know how to act. I kind of sat in the car with my, my father and just, you know, was quiet for a second. And sat back and started thinking about all the years you've had all the ups and downs and the things that you went through and uh, it, you know you sit there for about 20 minutes and then after that you know, I started thinking about all the possibilities going forward and uh, and got super excited you know so um, and I just thank Memphis for everything you know they, they made me who I am and, uh, and now I have opportunity to, to bring that to Utah. Initial impressions of Quinn Snyder as, as a person and as a coach? Oh he's great. He's great. I love him. He's uh, he's like I said. He's he's a guy that is ready to challenge all of us uh, every day. I'm sure. And, uh, just talking to X's and O's. I made the mistake of asking a question one day about a <laughs> defensive call or something like that, and he went on uh, you know, a long laundry list of just things. I was like, I'm not prepared for he that. Does that. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, he he seems very detail detail oriented, and, and it's going to be key. You know, Donovan's had such like a, a strong start to his career already with the rookie year and second year backed it up. Do you see superstar potential and ways that you could help him reach wherever he could be destined for? Yeah, I think uh, we, we all know what he can do now, um, but the, the sky's the limit. He can be so much better, and that's the, the scary thing about it. He has a lot of room to improve in a lot of different areas. And, um, and he knows that, you know, and that's the most important thing. It's not just us telling him you need to work on a floater or you need to work on, you know, passing out of a double team or whatever it may be. He's actively reaching out and saying, like, oh, how do, you know, yeah, how do I get that or how do I get that? Because he's ready to, to make that next jump and he, he wants to be that guy. And, and that's the most impressive thing that, you know, he has that mentality. What was your reaction, sorry, your reaction to Kawhi? Choosing the Clippers and the whole way, whole way went down recruiting Paul George and yeah, um, I think were, like everybody else, we were all kind of shocked. I woke up the next morning like didn't expect that one, you know. Uh, but you know, I think it, it it helped the league in a sense. I think it made this year coming up one that I think fans and players alike will just really enjoy because it's a lot of parity, uh, a lot of things can happen. So it'll be fun. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.